Eve, I'm co PRO on Film Club, and one of my favorite films that I watched this summer was the film Waves, uh, which is a movie about kind of the butterfly effect that certain actions um, or events have on different family members um, in an African American family in the United States. I really love the cinematography and I thought the story was really beautifully told and really well acted. I thought it was a really personal insight into each character's lives and yeah, it was just really emotional and um, really connected with me. So I would definitely recommend it. Hi, my name's Bella and my favorite movie during quarantine was The Martian, which is on Netflix so you all should check it out. It is a sci-fi thriller movie about a man who gets stranded on Mars and has to survive. And it follows his roller coaster of a journey through his triumphs and his low points. And it's very interesting and very entertaining because you're able to connect with the character's struggles. And it's also very suspenseful, so it's very fun to watch. Hi, I'm Keone, and my favorite film that I watched during quarantine is Perks of Being a Wallflower, which follows the story of Charlie, who is an introvert entering high school tr and trying to make new friends. I really like this film because I think it depicts a lot of the themes often seen in coming-of-age films, such as self-discovery and mental health, really well. And I also think the scenes capture friendship and being a teenager so well that viewers often want to experience these things themselves. So if you haven't seen the movie already, I highly recommend. My favorite film that I've seen during quarantine has been Weathering With You. It's an anime that was released last year and it's honestly one of my favorite films ever because of the way that it deals with weather as well as a love story. Um, some of the films that I've been watching during quarantine have been things that deal with the Black Lives Matter movement and one of the films that I thought was really important that I watched from that was Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which addresses the political issues surrounding that issue back then during the 1970s. My favorite movie that I've seen since quarantine is Snowpiercer. It's by the director of Parasite, so if you like that, then you should also see this because um, it's really cool. I watched it with my family and we all thought that it was like, you know, it was very action-packed but it also gets you to feel like certain emotions, like really strong emotions that other movies won't normally be able to do. My favorite quarantine film, or should I say TV show, was Euphoria. This TV series truly depicted the essence behind teen drug usage, party culture, and the destructive effects these have on the teenage minds and family relationships. What was really striking was how the visuals amplified the story of the line and how the audience we can identify with the main character and her downfall. Hi, my name is Annika and my favorite film that I watched this quarantine was definitely The Platform. I just think the story was just so captivating. It's like there's all of these layers of different people and the people basically only at the top, like the top few rows only get fed because they can control how much they eat because there's this whole like array of food in front of them but the thing is everyone basically like midway and below are left with no food but the thing is the whole like point of the film is that if everyone just like only took a little there would be enough food for everyone till the bottom of the platform and no one would have to die so it's just really interesting because the main character tries to you know evade the system um i think it's definitely worth a watch um, especially if you have time, you should definitely go watch the platform. It's on Netflix, stream it now. And if you want to talk about the movie, let me know what you think. Send me a quick email, agulaa at ismanila.org, especially if you want to join film club.